In this video, we are going to go over how to adjust the bell mouth of a crimp terminal. The bell mouth is the flared out portion at the front and possibly back of the terminal, shown here. Meckel specifications for this is 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters, though your company may have different requirements. The tools that you will need is a shortened 2.5 millimeter hex wrench, 3 millimeter hex wrench and calipers, or some way to accurately measure the bell mouth size. An indicator on a magnetic base makes it easier to make fine adjustments, but is not necessarily required. Meckle by Starn offers this 2.5mm shortened hex wrench under MBS 10309. To adjust the bell mouth, first loosen the feed finger. If you do not loosen this, you can potentially break this part later on. To do so, take a 2.5mm hex wrench and turn this screw counterclockwise by about a half turn. The feed finger should be able to freely move forward and back. Next, you will loosen the locking wedge to be able to move the slide forward and back. Take a 3mm hex wrench and turn the screw counterclockwise by one or two turns. After loosening the locking wedge, you can move the slide forward and back. This is what actually changes the size of the bell mouth. To move the slide forward and back, take a 3mm hex wrench and turn the screw above the locking wedge. Turning the screw clockwise will move the slide closer to you, and turning it counterclockwise will move it further away. This is where an indicator makes adjustments easier since you can quantify how much you are moving the slide beyond fractions of a turn. Once you have adjusted the slide position, lock the locking wedge back down. This does not need to be super tight. Once you have the locking wedge locked back down, the feed finger will need to be recentered. To do this, visually center it in the left guide and tighten the magnetic screw, being careful not to move it. To check the centering, lift the feed ball up and move it closer and further away from you. There should be some flex or play. The feed ball should be able to touch both sides of the left guide when moving it back and forth. Next, you can make a crimp and measure the bell mouth. To do so, you can use a pair of calipers. Meckel's recommended size is 0.2 to 0.5 millimeters, though your company may have different requirements. For example, you may have a maximum size to fit into a terminal block. If the bell mouth is not the target size, repeat these steps as necessary until the required dimension is reached. Here's an example of what is generally considered to be good and bad bell mouths. Again, while we have our recommended sizes, that may be different depending on your requirements. Keep in mind that when adjusting the bell mouth, you also change the cutoff tab length. Highlighted here, you can see that the tab length is longer on the crimp where most of the bell mouth is away from the wire. 